Open Talk with Russ S. Hey, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we set out to talk about last week, and that is about setting goals. Wanted to kind of go over uh, some of the details of uh, the goal plan. And uh, we'll start out first at the very top of the form uh, where it says area. And this is the area of life the area of life that you're going to work on and typically there's about seven areas roughly but you know you can adjust that to you know whatever makes sense to you whatever is going to keep you focused but uh, you know areas of finance uh, physical health these kind of things um, again you can you know whatever makes sense to you just uh, put that down what area you're going to be working on uh, you know obviously for weight loss or something that's going to be you know in the physical we're moving right along over to the current date the current date is important because what you're wanting to do is to identify what point in time you know crystallize what point in time you are right now and what an impact it's going to be as you you know set out on this journey you can always go back to it it's going to be a reference for you basically so you want to include a target date and the target date is the date that you're going to you're planning to get that accomplished uh, that makes a huge difference because when you're going into a target date what you're going to find is is that you're not motivated until you get to that that target date uh, that target date is going to put an emphasis on you mentally for figuring out how to accomplish that goal by that time frame. So it's vitally important that you uh, put down a target date. The next thing is date achieved. Well, you, a lot of folks go through their goals and they forget to put down, you know, to circle back around and put in the date achieved well it's that's also important because as you go through a number of these goals what you're going to find is how long did it take me to get that done how long did it actually you know how long did i actually take to do it did i hit my target day was i over my target day it's good metrics for you moving forward is i guess is what i'm trying to say you know and as you go through these you know you can adjust. It's it's uh, when you start set out these goals, you can adjust them before they actually become goals. So you know when you set them down, uh, you know maybe your target date's a little bit uh, ahead of schedule and whatnot. Okay, so moving right along, the statement of the goal. Now keep it simple. Uh, you know the best thing to do is you get down. Uh, a road of trying to describe every little detail about the goal that's not here that's not what's meant here for the statement of the goal what's meant for the statement of the goal is to make it simple you know I want to lose 30 pounds uh, I want to pay off a credit card I want to you know and then name the uh, the credit card and the amount uh, what you know how much you owe on it uh, you know, $4,500, uh, whatever the case may be. Just make sure you put down as much detail, but stay reasonably general in that. Uh, you know, you don't want to go down a whole lot of deltas trying to describe everything about that goal. Uh, you can certainly do that in the plan itself. So what are the benefits of achieving this goal? Yeah, that's an area where you're going to identify you know, what's this going to mean? When you get it done, what is it really going to mean? What is it? How are you going to feel? What is it going to be like? You know, what uh, are you going to be elated that you have it done? Are you going to be uh, financially free? Are you going to be able to pay down another bill? Are you going to be able to uh, st start going to the beach in that uh, bikini or whatever? swimsuit outfit that you have or those those uh, tight jeans that you want to wear or whatever the case may be you know you just want to make sure that you're identifying with uh, what it is what that really means what this really means to you uh, you know you can have a certain level of excitement and you should have a reasonably good level of excitement as you go through these because that allows you to focus and I can't say that enough. You know, it's not just 
you know, one thing that's going to cause you to focus on your goal. It's going to be a lot of things that help you focus on a goal. Primary one is going to be discipline. Secondarily is your excitement level. And, you know, you don't want to fail. <laughs> and that, and that uh, you know, is maybe a positive and negative effects of goal setting. But that's exactly what it's for. It's to build the discipline you need in order to move forward and be successful. Does it happen overnight? No. But it is a learned, disciplined process that you need to pay attention to. And you have the opportunity to write all those details down, get those into a written format, and then re reference them as often as you need to. So in possible challenges, what you want to identify are all the things that you're going to have to overcome in order to get through the goal. Uh, you know, maybe that you you need a second job. Well, you're going to have to get a second job if you're going to get through, you know, if your goal is financial uh, freedom or if your goal is, you know, more, more appropriately, you're paying off that bill, you need extra income, you're going to have to find a way to earn that extra income. So that may be, you know, part of your challenges is finding, uh, you know, a job. And then, uh, you know, an additional job or a second job. And it, so with that, what you may also additionally find is that you're going to find a way to overcome those challenges. And when you overcome those challenges, you're going to identify all the details that you need in order to overcome those challenges in a way that makes sense to you. So this is actually problem resolution. You go through the problem, problem resolution, what you're going to find is those obstacles that you thought were going to be problems become much less problems and more so a step-by-step -step procedure and how to make it through to the next step. In the specific action steps for achieving this goal, what you're going to do is you're going to go through and build out this master plan for developing your goal. You're going to project plan, basically, your entire goal. You're going to lay out, you know, all the things that need to have happen. You've already figured out what the challenges are. You already know how you're going to overcome them. And now it's to, you know, put that into an action plan. You're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to get this done at such and such a day. And, um, you know, then you're going to mark your time down on that. So you're going to go through this project plan. You put a target date and then a, 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 uh, a date actually achieved. And as you go through this, what you're going to find is that, that builds momentum. It builds momentum towards getting to the end of your goal. Now, how do you, you know, the, the analogy is, is how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So that is the same way you do the goals is one step at a time, you know, much like a, a rung on a ladder, you're going to step by step into, you know, climb up to where you're needing to go and eventually get where you want to be. Uh, like I said, it doesn't happen overnight. It does happen step by step. Um, you know, I've often said incremental steps or incremental process towards getting to your goals and that is vitally important to remember that you're going to take one day at a time, one moment at a time, and you will eventually get there. But you have to plan it out. You have to detail it out to where, you know, you have specific actions that ensue the correct or the right result that you're looking for. Okay, so in the next section, we're talking about affirmations. And this is an area that is, again, vitally important. Uh, the reason why is it's a kind of a self-talk. What are you telling yourself? Can you tell yourself you can do this? Can you tell yourself you can make it? Can you, can you uh, get where you want to go? What are you telling yourself? Because if it's negativity, if it's against, you know, you being successful at something, you're never going to achieve it. And you obviously want to tell yourself something good. You obviously want to say something positive, uh, you, you know. And it needs to be framed in some format that you have already achieved the goal. Uh, you know, if you don't believe that you can achieve it, then you will never end up 
achieving it. So it has to be in some format that allows you to believe that it's possible. You know, it's something in the, in the order of, you know, I feel great in my new uh, size 10 jeans or whatever the case may be. You know, uh, you know, for me, that may be, uh, you know, maybe I feel great in my size 36 or 34 jeans or what have you. Uh, look great, feel great, and just, uh, you know, something of that order. You know, and uh, you don't have to be complicated about this. Just you can detail that out as much as possible. Just make sure you're telling yourself positive, reaffirming actions or positive affirmations. In the last section, it is, you know, basically a decision, yes or no decision. Is it worth the time and money to do this goal? And my contention is, is if you have wasted the time, actually not wasted, if you have gone this far and you have gone and filled out the details in goal planning, then I guess the answer is yes. You need to go forward and make this happen. Uh, but if you've lost interest in the goal by this time, you know, hey, find another goal because this isn't it and move forward with that. You know, the basic thing to remember is always have a level of excitement. If you don't have a level of excitement for your goals and your dreams and your aspirations, they will never happen. So it's a level of excitement. If you are excited about doing something, if you have, uh, you know, a good enough affirmation behind it, as well as, you know, a reason to, to do uh, and to move forward with that goal, then you will find a way to make it happen. I hope this has been instructive to you, and I offer this so that you can have a chance to be successful in what it is that you're wanting to do. It's very basic, it's very primary, but it's nonetheless another step that you can take towards focusing in on what it is that you want to do, becoming that person that you want to become. Does it mean you're going to be a millionaire? I don't know. Is that your goal? Who knows? But it does mean that if you follow a plan of action, you'll be much closer to it than you would be if you had done nothing at all. Anyway, my name is Russ Hess, RussHess.com, Open Talk. We'll see you on the next video.